Hey you guys, it's Karen and I thought I'd come and do a video on two Becca items that I have bought, one of which is a favourite, one of which is a fail. So let me talk about the fail first, which is this. This is the Becca Zero. This is called No Pigment Foundation. Um, and I don't think it is foundation at all. Um, it comes in this glass jar. In the lid, there is a tiny little, there's a lid and then there's a tiny little spatula, like so. That helps you get the foundation out. <laughs> Um, let me show you what it looks like. I've taken some off the lid there. It looks like that. So it looks and feels exactly like a primer. And if you look at reviews, that's what most people are saying that they are using it as and that it feels like. Um, as you guys know, I'm not really into primers just because I've never really used anything that... Oh goodness, I've dropped that. That was amazing enough to encourage me to do that extra step and it's not something I remember. It's kind of like eye cream. If I've got the Niod Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate Serum, I remember to use it because I absolutely love how it feels. But there's no primer that makes me feel like that. You know, I'm like, well, I can't wait to use that primer. I just forget and I'm like, blimey neck, I was gonna try that primer, you know. But once I've tried a primer a few times and it doesn't do anything amazing, yeah, I forget. I have actually been using this. I have used this about four times, but I've used it as a primer underneath makeup. What I need to do is put it onto my bare skin and see how it looks on camera. You guys are gonna see that because what I'll do is tomorrow morning, I will put this on so that you can see the difference. The first day I used it, I just put it on my face after you know doing my normal SPF, etc., and couldn't see barely any difference. I could see a little bit of blurring of pores, um, but that's really about all. So I read the instructions and it said to make sure that your skincare is fully absorbed. So the day after that I did, I waited a while um, until everything that I put on was completely absorbed and then used this. I didn't really see that much of a difference to be honest. So it seems like it's quite a nice primer. It's um, a little bit unusual. It feels like silicone when you put it on. You know, it does feel very silicone-like, um, but when you start spreading it out, it doesn't feel at all sort of thick or greasy or anything. It actually feels a little bit cooling. So it does feel really nice going on, um, but it's just, there's no pigment in it. So I know it's saying zero pigment, but I don't, the, the fact that they're calling it a foundation is literally just marketing. You know, it's not a foundation. It's, there's zero coverage, um, zero pigment. So they're not being dishonest, but I just think it's a bit of an odd marketing claim, I guess. It made me curious enough to buy it, so it's actually quite a good claim, really. Um, so yeah, for me, the, so far, this is a fail because it's 29 pound and it's, I, I'm using it because it's expensive and because it's new, I'm remembering to use it, but I feel like, unless I see something wow when I watch the video back that I do for you tomorrow, um, I can't see me using it. Um, maybe I would use it underneath the powder that I'm gonna talk about and, and on a no makeup day, I don't know. On a no makeup day to me, I want my skin to breathe and I don't want to put anything on it. I, I occasionally put a bit of translucent powder on a no makeup day, but I would generally just do my brows and maybe put a bit of cream blush on my cheeks, but I really kind of want my skin to breathe. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so far this is, I'm saying a fail. It's a question mark more than a fail probably because it's a fail as a foundation. It's certainly not a foundation. Um, it might work as a primer. I've, I've yet to be amazed by it. So that's that one. Then on to the favourite. This one, I think these are both kind of related technology, if you like, because this is also cooling, but this is a powder. I was really interested in this. So the, the Becca Zero pigment is £29, and I think this one was 32 Yeah, 32 So this is a powder, a loose powder, and this one comes in two colours. I've got it in the original colour, and that's the colour that you see there. So it's pretty much a translucent colour. And I will, of course, show you me putting this on. I have got it on today. Um, I've actually, I've got the primer on today as well underneath 
Laura Mercier foundation. So this one is £32 for 10 grams and it comes in two colours, original and golden bronze. Um, the description really intrigued me. It says it's an innovation in makeup setting. It's a Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. It's a two-in-one way of, of locking things into place and refreshing the skin. Um, feels comfortable, stops makeup from straying, formulated with 50% water and glycerin. The powder miraculously creates a mist-like sensation on your skin, meaning it's perfect for keeping makeup looking fresh all day and leaving the dry, chalky sensation of some setting powders without leaving the dry chalky sensation of some setting powders and um, with light reflecting particles it also blurs away fine lines and imperfections so it sounded wonderful when i was like let me see if it really is and i have to say i really really like this when i first used it i thought this is really really weird because it feels like it's wet you know and i did not expect that it feels like it's wet and it feels like it's cool you know you'd expect I know they said there's a cooling sensation, but you don't expect to feel it quite so much. It doesn't feel like you've put something strong on your face. It's not in that way. It just, it feels like ice. It, it feels like um, dry ice. That's what it feels like. Um, like. Like you've just gone into a room with dry ice on, or you've put dry ice on your face. It's a really, really weird sensation. And I was like, this is wet. And I was like, oh no, this is going to all sort of you know, clump up, but it doesn't at all. It is really, really beautiful to use. Um, let me put the demo of, in of me using it now so that you can actually see it in action. So you can see there it doesn't at all go cakey and that is it does say that the good thing about this is that because it's got that sort of wet feel it is a bit like a mist which you know it's what that's one of those things that i was reading and thinking that is just marketing it's not gonna how can a powder be like a mist and actually you could see when i opened this that it did look like there was a mist coming up from it as does often with powders it just looks like there's excess and what sometimes happens with those for me is it just makes me choke it just catches in my throat this didn't at all but it definitely does feel like almost as if you're spraying a mist on your face it's really bizarre um but it does say that the unique thing about this is that you don't get that dry cakey feeling and that it stays your skin stays hydrated but also oil controlled and slightly blurred all day now i haven't i haven't measured it and looked in the mirror and seen if it lasts all day but i haven't neither have i noticed anything going crazy with my skin you know um, i don't necessarily have my makeup on all day long at the moment um i tend to take it off sort of lunchtime or mid-afternoon um, and i haven't noticed at that point oh god i can't wait to get my makeup off it looks terrible you know um but it just it feels so nice i feel like it does blur a little bit um and i think this would be amazing to use in the summer be interesting to see how much how long this lasts me but if i was still working in the hospital in my little office this is something i would think you know what i'm going to have this on at my desk and i would use it at lunchtime to refresh my makeup and it would i can just imagine how lovely it would feel you know if you're feeling all sort of hot and sweaty you could blot your skin put some of this on and it just feels really really beautiful so i am definitely a convert i will see how long this lasts i've been using it three or four days i just i just love the feeling of it it is one of those products it's like such a pleasure to use and it always I'm putting it on and thinking that's such a beautiful finish that I do want to use it every day, you know. So, um, yeah, one potential fail and one big winner. Um, that's everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've tried either of these and what you think and what you think from watching, you know, the videos of me because you guys often see different things to me. You know, sometimes you can, I guess, when you look at it yourself, you're mostly looking at flaws unfortunately it's human nature and so you might not see that oh well actually you do look a bit brighter or you do look a bit smoother or a bit more blurred you know um so yeah sometimes you guys can see things that i don't see um but yeah that's everything thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you again soon